what's going on YouTube? I go by the name of Sean Tiege. I'm going to be showing you how I personally would make a beat for Baby Stone Gorillas. Okay, so this is a beat I've already made uh, in the past week or so. I will be having beats where I show you how I make them from scratch, but this is what we got today. So let's jump right into it. I got my BPM set to 200. Uh, I use double time. So for anybody else wondering, that's 100 BPM. Uh, that's a good West Coast tempo. That's where I fit comfortable. That's where I like to sit in. So first, I found this loop off of Splice. Uh, here's the loop. And by the way, I'm using the MPC Studio, and this is the MPC software. I don't have Fruity Loops or FL Studio or any of that other stuff. So, you know, is it? It'll either be a breath of fresh air or it might irritate you, but let's find out. So, all I did to that was I just put, I cut a little bit of the low end out. This is TDR Nova 76. This is a free EQ plugin. I love it. I use it for damn near everything. I even use that to when I mix and master vocals. Okay, next I played this bass line. This is from Hybrid 3. In the hard bass section, chuff bass. See that little amp part, that's what that's what to me makes it like a baby stone gorilla type beat. Okay, so then I played these. This is just uh, uh Ottawa right here from uh the plugin Velvet. Uh, I think it's like five bucks. It's, it's not expensive. Um, and I got it in a package. I got it with like three other plugins for like five bucks. They sent the thing to my email and I clicked on it. But it's right here, number 46. Um, next one we got. I played. My bad. Okay, here we go. I just play these little keys at the end. And this is also from Velvet. This is from the Mark II. This is number uh, 33, the hard flange. Okay, next instrument we got is, this is, um, I used it for a lead. It's a, it's a horn, the amazing solo. It's from Rolling Cloud. It's a D50 plugin, so. And then I layered it with this one. This is from also Rolling Cloud. This is the XV5080. Just to balance it out to give it a little higher feeling to it. So like, let me see, let me show you guys um, what they sound like together. See, that's a little bit lower. That one's more high end, so just I put them together. I like the way they sound. Um, and some of you might be getting on me about uh, I'm not EQing every sound. If I like the way, it's, if it sounds good to me, it sounds good to me. Um, I've been producing for quite a while now, so if it sounds good, I like it. Um, last but not least, just a simple little bell uh, towards the end of the melody. Uh, at the end of the uh, four bar loop and this is also XV5080 okay so then when we bring it all together this is what it sounds like all together alright let's jump into the drums Okay, so for my drums, um, I like a real punchy kick. That's me personally. Um, do whatever you want. It's your world. Simple. Simple clap. A little bit of a roll right there. A little bit of a ride. Let's get the 
hi hats next. Just a little bounce. We got our slam right here. Start throwing in perks. That's that one. And then let's throw in our open hi hats. So the open hi hat, um, when you layer it with your kick, it gives it that more of a punch to it. So here it goes. See. And you kind of want to use an aggressive open hi hat. See that I call that one aggressive. Let me see if I have another one that's not aggressive. I know I do. Um, not that. Not that. Don't listen to that. That's kind of aggressive too. That one's actually nice. I like. Why haven't I used that one yet? Uh, that one. See, it's soft. Now watch this. Look, I'm gonna change it. I'm gonna change it to this, and you'll hear it. You'll hear it not. See that? That's more just to fill up space. Okay, there we got it punching right. Okay, let's get back to the rest of our drums. Okay, this. This right here, we got that. You know, that's that's a staple on the West Coast. We got our cowbell in there. We got our rim in there. We got our bell. I probably should have went through every sound individually like that. But this is the drums. All that going. Um, I didn't play a eight. I didn't uh, do an eight oh eight on this one. This right here, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna show you guys uh, when we get there. But, but this is all of it together. <laughs> okay, so now. We have everything built together. Uh, once you get happy with your sound, you like the way it sounds, you think it's full, let's put it together. Now, um, there's no right way to put it together. I think there is a wrong way. You can really mess things up. But no, actually, there's no wrong way. There's uh, Music is it's what you make it. So I'm going to just show you what I did for this beat. Okay, And this is usually the formula I like to run with. I like to mix it up every couple beats, but this is like my main go-to formula of how I sequence my beats. So, just the wall, the main loop, and the bass. Hey Sean, you a genius, nigga. Okay, see, that that right there when I jump into my second part this is what I like to use for a build up okay um, when I do this is I like to look at it like this so the song starts and you go up you go up boom you hit where it's full then you drop back down and you sit where the verse is my bad I'm not running out of room and you come back up and like that kind of like that so this is after and basically all it is it's with no kick on there um i personally love the way a synth bass sounds with no kick and then i love when the kick comes in after so here's with the kick here's without it you see uh, it's just a nice bounce so and i'll show you guys the next is what will be the, the hook hope the sound don't double up on you guys when the video comes out um anyways and you see i have them labeled so first is the intro i obviously don't need to write intro uh two that's the second one then i go full that's when the beat is full and then after this is when i like to let it breathe like i said you come up boom 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 you hit that full 
and you start slowly going back down and you ease into it and you level back out and then you go back up and you level out at the top so I named mine after I just um, I like to keep things simple uh, took the bass line out letting it breathe you know no no low end there's no kicks either it's all it's all high end and if you don't know what I mean when I say low end and high end okay so a kick let me show you on here a kick okay you see the EQ look it it's beefy right here oh I gotta sneeze I jinxed it. Okay, and then a clap. See, I should actually cut out that low end on that clap. <laughs> yeah, I should have, but I didn't. It's okay. The beat is already up on, on beat stars. It's all right. We're going to live. So um, that's what I, when I say like hi-hats, um, open hats uh a lot of percussion is all high end it's on the higher end of the spectrum when it comes to frequencies they got higher frequencies uh you know your kicks your basses that's all low end i like my melody to kind of sit in the middle i like to have my high end drums real crispy i like to have my low end knock so when you put it all together you get it all together so anyways back to the lecture at hand and then next we're going into the verse, okay? Nah, you didn't expect that switch up, huh? Okay, so this is a loop I grabbed from Looperman. No shame in my game, I don't mind it. Yep, okay, so there it is. Um... I had originally start started this beat out where I was constructing my beat around that. I wanted to use that. I wanted that to be the main focus, but uh, uh, I don't know. I just wasn't feeling it, so I decided to jump into this. And then I, I wanted to keep it, so I decided to just throw it into the verse. And with the verse, only thing that I did was keep the wall. That's it. And then after that we'll jump back into two. So look, this is how this is how it looks on my program uh when I sequence it out. Um you as you can see I got one, that's the intro. Um uh, and I use double time, so mine where it says eight bars right here, it's actually four bars. Um so my intro is four bars the little build up to it is four bars then i do a 16 uh, eight bar excuse me an eight bar hook then i do a 16 bar verse as you can see i got four of them so i do after and then verse repeats twice and then the build up again and we're back into the hook so that's a 16 bar verse right there and what i do is i leave it where it's two hook it's three hooks and two verses and if a beat needs to be extended or rearranged for an artist, that's fine. That's no biggie. We can easily rearrange it. Um, but I'm just going to show you guys. Okay, so like I said, it starts up. You're going up, boom, 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 boom. You plateau. You come back down. You breathe. Okay, so watch. I'm going to try and keep my hand on the screen where it fits. But I'm going to show you guys with my hand, like, kind of like how it's building up, like how I picture it. still there though then you stay 
It's a verse, they can guess. Room to breathe, get creative. Think twice. Okay, we're good. We're still right here, right? We're preparing again for the hook. Bam, we're back into the hook. So, if you want to hear the full beat, he's going to play after. Uh, I will put timestamps in the comments. Uh, I'm not sure how to do it yet on the actual YouTube screen. Um, thank you though for watching. If you did watch, I hope you learned something. And uh, if you knew everything that I said, hopefully you maybe got a little bit of inspiration you want to cook up. Um, you know, like make make a beat harder than me. Like, like I, I like good competition. Feel free to uh, send it to me. Tag me in it. Be like, hey, Sean, like I whooped you. Uh, listen to my beat. Like you should have done a tutorial on my beat, um, and it's all love. I like I like friendly competition. I want to see everybody win. Um, yeah, you you guys can reach me at at Sean Tige on <clears throat> my bad at Sean Tige on Instagram, TikTok. Um, you know, hey, I appreciate you watching. If you want to subscribe, go ahead. I'm not gonna tell you what to do, um, but the full beat is gonna play. Thank you. I hope you have a great day. Stay safe, stay healthy, you know, if you need to hear it. Hey, I love you for watching. Thank you. But have a good one. And once again, I go by the name of Sean Tiege, and it was a pleasure. Have a good one.